Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. With the release of Fallout 4's Automatron downloadable content, many players will likely be returning to the wasteland if you haven't already. But on the horizon is the addition of the revamp survival mode and the rest of Fallout 4's 1.5 update. Now that update is currently in beta on Steam for PC. If you want to know more about survival mode, I'll put a link on the screen to a rather lengthy video with all the details. In the meantime, here is what else is changing in the Commonwealth with the 1.5 patch. Bethesda reports they fixed a rare crash related to reloading a save that relies on automatron. They also fixed an issue with the robot workbench camera not moving properly immediately after canceling out of the menu. Bethesda fixed an issue with perks being repeatedly added when reloading a saved game while in the robot workbench. And they also fixed an issue with Ada not properly traveling to an assigned settlement. Thankfully, Bethesda also is going to fix one of the issues that has been frustrating for me with the new edition of Automatron, and that is robots can now be assigned as settlement vendors. Naturally, this was one of the first things that I tried when I got Automatron. It didn't work. I do know that you can also assign robots to salvaging stations, although I'm not sure technically if that's working or not so hopefully that has been addressed if it did not work to start with another issue bethesda fixed was with appropriation where blueprints would not appear correctly if the container had been already looted prior to getting the quest a nuclear option entering the institute using the targeting helmet on power armor no longer inadvertently causes the player to go into combat and become stuck in the institute Lastly, Bethesda also fixed a distance check with the Robotics Expert perk. So with a game as complicated as Fallout 4, sometimes you get bugs. It's nice to see Bethesda is fixing them and uh, also supporting any issues that pop up with their new DLC. That is something good to hear as well. Again, the 1.5 update is available in beta on Steam for PC, and it includes the new survival mode. So that, of course, is the big chunk of this update. It looks awesome. Again, check out the video with all the details. But Bethesda has yet to set an official date for the update's release on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I'll keep you posted as soon as I know more. If you like this video, please like it, share it on social media, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.